praise the Lord. I extend my warm greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us turn to Psalm 19 for today's small devotion and the topic is Knowing the Creator. We have been going through this psalm for the past few days and we are continuing our devotion from this psalm for one more time. First few verses in this psalm speak about how each and every creation very specifically and very clearly declares the glory of the Lord God Almighty, the goodness of God towards mankind. The creation proclaims that behind this magnificent creation is the great and mighty divine creator. His goodness continues until this day and will continue to the future for all eternity. But the question before us is, how can we fully know this Creator? It's only through the Word of God. We read in Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 that, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Also we read in verse 14 that the Word of was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. These verses are talking about the Lord Jesus, who is God from all eternity, took the form of a man to show forth God's immense, deep love towards the whole world by sacrificing his own life for mankind. We read in John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. It's only through the Lord Jesus that anyone can see the God Almighty. To see Lord Jesus, we need to look into the Word of God. The Lord Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 6. Also in verse 9, Jesus said, He who has seen me has seen the Father. The word of God reveals God as the one who enters his covenant relationship with man. His love to mankind is uncomparable. His promises to man bind him together with mankind to work together for the good of man. Thus, we see that to know the Creator, we should be seeing the Lord Jesus constantly in front of our eyes. This can happen only through the meditation and obedience to the Word of God which reveals to us who God is and what He has done for us and what He is continuously doing in our present and future life. God's Word repeatedly says He is our strength because he himself is our security and our salvation. Not only that, he is our redeemer. He has brought us back to himself forever, from sin, from shame, and from servitude. What a loving and merciful God is our Lord, who has poured out his grace on us. Dear my listeners, if anyone listening to this devotion has not known the Lord Jesus, and what he has done for you on the cross, now is the time to confess of your sins to Jesus and believe in his death for you and accept him as the Lord of your life and the Savior from your sin and its eternal death. But all those who are believers in Christ, let us keep our Lord Jesus Christ right in front of our eyes all the time and live daily according to his word. May this small devotion be a blessing to each one of us in the coming days. Amen.